Here we go again. Hi guys, Matt from Ascension Props here once again with another quick tip. This is actually going to be several parts because we're starting today with how to make foam armor. Yay! Now this can be anything from helmets to armor and everything in between. There's several methods to do it all and I'm going to show you a couple of them, but let's get started. First off, one of the easy ways to make armor is to start with the Pepakura method. For example, this Iron Man Mark VII torso piece that I've been working on for the past little while. This was originally a Pepakura unfold, which for those of you unfamiliar with the term Pepakura, it's basically paper craft is the short and easy way of putting it. Uh, you'll see a lot of people with armor out there that they started by making with pieces of paper, they threw on some uh, auto body filler, fiberglass sheets and whatnot and built it up so it's a nice solid piece. I do it the same way but with an adapted method for foam. It still gives you the nice shapes and whatnot, but it gives you a whole bunch of little pieces that you have to cut out of the foam and then they all add up together just like a, a big old puzzle. It's really neat. Another way to do it is to make your own custom patterns. And for that, that's why my arm is covered. So here we are back at my trusty art board setup thing. We're going to show you some basic things of what you can do to make a custom anything, really. For the next several videos, we're actually going to follow along. We have a nice custom gauntlet bracer thing by the end of this that, that you can follow along or build along if you so desire. So a few simple things that you can use that, you, that you're going to need. You're going to need a plastic bag or something to protect your arm or whatever you're wrapping up in the duct tape. Be very careful, this can pull off your skin. You're going to need a marker so you can mark out the pattern when it's all wrapped up. You're going to need scissors to cut it off of you. And you probably want to use an X-Acto knife or a sharper knife to cut it out of the uh, uh, when we're done later. You can also clean up the edges and whatnot. What you want to do is take your garbage bag and you want to cover up the area that you're going to be taping. Then you take the duct tape, nice and simple. Put on your arm, wrap it decently tight to your arm, as flat as you can. It's good to start at one end to hold it down and keep it from moving too much. And then carefully wrap the other end so you know how far you're going to go. Just leaving some excess on either side so again you don't get caught by the duct tape. And there you go. Nice and simple. And this is where a friend helps. So now that you've found your friend, it makes it really easy to draw on whatever you're doing to make your pattern. For me, I was able to make about half of what I needed, and then my lovely wife was able to connect to the other sides together so we could finish off this main pattern. Now comes the fun part, cutting it off. Ta -da! And now to get the shape out. Now that we've got that cut out, got our shape, now we just need to flatten it. As you can see, it kind of bubbles up in a couple of spots. Here at the front. Okay. But back here. Because of the bulge in the arm, what we've got to do, take your X-Acto knife and make a dart. And that flattens right out, mostly. <laughs> now in order to be able to fully use this, 
it's really hard to try and trace it onto the foam using this. So what we got to do is we got to transfer it over something else. Nice and easy to transfer it onto paper. You can use butcher paper, you can use wrapping paper. Something a little thicker is preferred, but if you're in a pinch, I just tape a couple of pieces of printer paper together. And voila! And with that, you have a pattern. Now there are several different kinds of thicknesses of foam that you can use as well. There's half inch foam, quarter inch foam, and super skinny craft foam. Now don't knock the craft foam, I've seen people make entire sets of armor out of this stuff and they, don't, they do amazing stuff with it. Me, I use it for extra added details on top of it. But for now, we're just going to make a pair of gauntlets out of the half inch. If you prefer a little thinner but still sturdy, you can use the quarter inch for this. I prefer to have the half inch just because it, when, when I think of armor, I think of solid and something nice and thick. It doesn't bend as easily. As you've also noticed, I've labeled the pattern. And once you've done that, you've got them both marked according to their respective sides. It's as simple as a job as to go out and cut them. You can use an X-Acto knife, you can use a box cutter as long as you remember to keep it sharp, and of course, my favorite, you can cut it out with a bandsaw. Makes it nice and simple and fast. Well now that you got it all cut out, this is when we need to heat form it. To heat form the foam, all you need is a set of gloves, leather or something thick that'll take the heat, and a heat gun. You can also use the oven if you really want, just be very careful because it's easy to burn it. Once you've heated the piece the whole way through, both sides to make sure it's a nice even heat, all you have to do is just roll it and roll it and bend it and then you can also stretch it and whatever until you get a nice round shape. From there, you have a gauntlet, or at least the beginning of one. Now you have to detail it, you have to strap it, and you have to glue these little things together. How do we do that, you ask? Well, tune in next week when we start getting into the little stuff. See you then.